Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I'm Koi Tijizi and in this video we are going to do a weapon breakdown of the Claw of Black Storm. So uh, the forge, the upgraded within the forge. So uh, yeah, I actually finally got this upgraded. So right over here in the forge, you're going to see that right over, let's see right here. Okay, can't click on it here. So right over here. You're going to see Claw Black Storm has been upgraded, so I was able to upgrade it today and uh, get it to its level, uh, Kai level 4. So uh, with that said, what I want to do here is actually go over the Claw of Black Storm because I've never actually really gone into a deep breakdown of this particular weapon. So pretty much right over here, you're going to have this. So I've actually have gotten this weapon uh, several times. Um, I believe I've gotten it seven or eight times or so. Uh, so that's why you're going to see it's going to have a pretty high attack power. So an attack power of 177. Then over here for this, um, this is actually going to be meant for a ranger. So um, here for level one, you're going to get plus five uh, to your attack power for a ranger. So now skipping over the skills, which I will go over a bit later, at level 35, you're going to get plus 5% damage to uh, beasts, plus 5% damage to birds. Then for the level 45 uh, skill or ability that's or perk that you get, um, you're going to get um, for when you are attacking, you get plus 2% to the rate in which you actually can give uh, an enemy illusion. So uh, that's actually pretty good. Then for level five, um, or level 50, I should say, plus 10 to your attack power if you have expertise with this weapon. Then for the extra ones, it's going to be plus five uh, to weapon and physical technique skill damage. So for the three of these, so one, two, three, so a total of 15 there. Then over here with the forge, I have the forge and I maxed out. So here I get plus 10% to damage to uh, birds. Uh, the Tempest Blow has been upgraded, which I will go over in this video. And again, another plus 10% damage to birds. And then here are the level four, which is the special animation at the end of a Mega Monster battle. So with that said, I want to go into uh, a battle and show the abilities. So let's see right over here. Okay, so I'm at uh, this uh, character with the equipped with the Claw Black Storm. So the first ability is going to be right here. This is going to be Moon Salt. So Moon Salt is going to cost 5 MP. And what it is, is a somersault attack that does 250% physical technique damage to flying enemies and 130% physical technique damage to all other enemy types. So here, uh, they are all flying enemies, so they're, it's going to do 250% damage. So uh, here we go with this attack. Okay, back with this character again. So the next ability is going to be right over here. This is going to be Shinkuha, which is going to be Aerial Slash. So this is going to cost 9 MP. And what it is, it's, in a, martial, it's a martial art that cuts the air and does 120% boggy physical technique damage to all enemies like this. Okay, back with my character again. So the next ability is going to be right over here. So this is going to be Letsu Koken, which is going to be uh, pretty much a ripping steel fist. So with this, this is going to cost 12 MP. This does 180% weapon damage to machine type enemies while doing 120% damage to all other enemy uh, types twice. So this is going to be a two-pronged attack, so going to be like this. And again, back with my character. So the next ability is going to be, let's see, right over here. This is going to be Cho Shinku Geri, which is going to be Super Aerial Kick. So this costs 20 MP and it does 120% boggy physical technique damage to all enemies. So going to be like this.
Okay, and back with my character. Yeah, I uh, wasn't expecting to die there, uh, but I should have been paying a bit more attention. But uh, next is going to be the final ability, so that's going to be Tempest Blow Kai. So with this Tempest Blow Kai, the uh, MP has been increased uh, to 33 MP. Then here, what it is, is pretty much it's going to do 220% boggy physical technique damage to one enemy two times and has a chance to lower enemy attack power so most likely if i attack with this one of the any of these will probably uh go down so let's see what happens here okay that's actually pretty good okay and here i'm actually just going to finish off this battle Okay. Okay, so with that, um, this weapon uh, it be being upgraded is actually going to be very useful for uh, the next, uh, for the current event, so the Dai's Grand Adventure event uh, part two. So um, pretty much with the new elite enemy, it's going to actually be uh, a bit rough since he actually upgrades or uh, increases his attack power. If you can prevent him from doing that, then that's actually going to be uh, very useful, especially with this particular weapon. Uh, so he actually doesn't increase uh, his own attack power. And hopefully you can just either counteract it or even lower it uh, to uh, new levels. So, um, yeah, so definitely this is... Um, if you upgrade any weapon, uh, I definitely would recommend the Claw of Black Storm. So, uh, yes, yeah, so please try to get this if you don't have it, and please upgrade it in the Forge. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.